Standard 9 Science and Technology Chapter Number 6 Classification of Plants Introduction Can you recall? How have living organisms been classified? You have already studied the kingdoms Monera, Protista and Fungi of the Five Kingdom Classification System proposed by Robert Whittaker in 1959 for the study of living organisms. What are the hidden secrets of the Kingdom Plantae which impart this green freshness to our surroundings? Just how much diversity is there in this kingdom? Let us see. Living organisms Prokaryotic Monera Eukaryotic Unicellular Pritista Multicellular with cell wall Autotrophs Plantae Heterotrophs Fungi Without cell wall Animalia Kingdom Plantae can you tell? Which are the special cell organelles that differentiate plant cells from animal cells? The group of autotrophic living organisms having eukaryotic cells with cell walls is the group of plants. Plants have become autotrophic as they can perform photosynthesis with the help of chlorophyll. Living organisms of the Kingdom Plantae are the main source of food for all other living organisms. Basis for Classification The presence or absence of organs is the first criterion for classification of plants. The presence or absence of separate conducting tissues for conduction of water and food is the next consideration for classification. Do the plants bear seeds? If they do, then whether the seeds are enclosed in a fruit or not is also an important criterion for classification. Finally, plants are grouped depending upon the number of cotyledons in the seed. At the higher levels of plant classification, Different characteristics are considered for classification. Example, depending upon the absence or presence of flowers, fruits and seeds, plants are classified as cryptogams or phanerogams. Depending upon whether seeds are enclosed within a fruit or not, phanerogams are classified as gymnosperms and angiosperms. Angiosperms are further classified as monocots or dicots depending upon the number of cotyledons in seeds. An introduction to scientists. In 1883, Eichler, a botanist, classified the kingdom plantae into two sub-kingdoms. As a result, two sub-kingdoms, cryptogams and phanerogams, were considered for plant classification. Cryptogams Observe Search for a pond with greenish water. Collect some of the green fibers from the water. Put the fibers in a petri dish and wash them clean with water. Put one of the fibers in a drop of water on a glass slide and spread it out straight. Put a cover slip over the slide and observe under a compound microscope. Do you see the spirally arranged green thread-like chloroplasts in the cell in that straight fiber? This plant is known as Spirogyra. Division 1. Thallophyta. These plants grow mainly in water. This group of plants which do not have specific parts like root, stem, leaves, flowers but are autotrophic due to the presence of chlorophyll is called algae. Algae show great diversity. They may be unicellular or multicellular and microscopic or large. Examples of algae are 
Spirogyra, Eulothrix, Ulva, Sargassum, etc. Some of these are found in fresh water while some are found in saline water. These plants usually have a soft and fiber-like body. Various types of fungi like yeast and moles which do not have chlorophyll are also included in this group. Division 2 Bryophyta Observe and discuss. You may have seen a lush green soft carpet on old walls, bricks and rocks in the rainy season. Scrape it gently with a small ruler. Observe it under a magnifying glass and discuss. This group of plants is called the amphibians of the plant kingdom because they grow in moist soil but need water for reproduction. These plants are thalloid, multicellular and autotrophic. They reproduce by spore formation. The structure of the plant body of bryophytes is flat, ribbon-like long, without true roots, stem and leaves. Instead, they have stem-like or leaf-like parts and root-like rhizoids. They do not have specific tissues for conduction of food and water. Examples are moss or funaria, marchantia, anthoceris, richia, etc. Observe and discuss. You may have seen ferns among the ornamental plants in a garden. Take a leaf or a fully grown fern and observe it carefully. Division 3. Pteridophyta. Plants from this group have well-developed roots, stem and leaves and separate tissues for conduction of food and water. But they do not bear flowers and fruits. They reproduce with the help of spores formed along the back or posterior surface of their leaves. Examples are ferns like Nephrolepis, Marsilia, Teres, Adiantum, Equisetum, Selaginella, Lycopodium, etc. These plants reproduce asexually by spore formation and sexually by zygote formation. They have a well-developed conducting system. Use your brain power. What is the similarity between the plants of the groups Talophyta, Bryophyta and Pteridophyta irrespective of differences in their body structures? All these plants reproduce by spore formation. They are called cryptogams as their reproductive organs cannot be seen. Cryptos means hidden, gams means reproductive organs. Phanerogams Plants which have special structures for reproduction and produce seeds are called phanerogams. In these plants, after the process of reproduction, seeds are formed which contain the embryo and stored food. During germination of the seed, the stored food is used for the initial growth of the embryo. Depending upon whether seeds are enclosed in a fruit or not, phanerogams are classified into gymnosperms and angiosperms. Division 1. Gymnosperms Observe! Observe all garden plants like cycas, Christmas tree, hibiscus, lily, etc. and compare them. Note the similarities and differences among them. Which differences did you notice between gymnosperms and angiosperms? Gymnosperms are mostly evergreen, perennial and woody. Their stems are without branches. The leaves form a crown. These plants bear male and female flowers on different sporophylls of the same plant. Seeds of these plants do not have natural coverings, that is, these plants do not form fruits and are therefore called 
gymnosperms. Gymnos means naked and sperms means seeds. Examples, cycas, pichia, that is Christmas tree, tuja, that is morpanki, pinus, that is deodor, etc. Division 2, angiosperms. Try this. Soak the seeds of corn, beans, groundnut, tamarind, mango, wheat, etc. in water for 8 to 10 hours. After they are soaked, check each seed to see whether it divides into two equal halves or not and categorize them accordingly. The flowers these plants bear are their reproductive organs. Flowers develop into fruits and seeds are formed within fruits. Thus, these seeds are covered, hence they are called angiosperms. Angios means cover, sperms means seeds. The plants whose seeds can be divided into two equal halves or dicotyledons are called dicotyledonous plants and those whose seeds cannot be divided into equal parts are called monocotyledonous plants. Observe and verify. Seed, dicotyledonous plants, two cotyledons. Monocotyledonous, single cotyledon. Root, dicotyledonous plants, well-developed, primary root, tap root. Monocotyledonous, fibrous roots. Stem, dicotyledonous plants, strong, hard, example banyan tree. Monocotyledonous, hollow, example bamboo, false, example banana, disc-like, example onion. Leaf, dicotyledonous plants, reticulate venation, monocotyledonous, parallel venation, flower, Dicotyledonous plants, flowers with four or five parts or in their multiples, tetrameris or pentameris, monocotyledonous, flowers with three parts or in multiples of three, trimeris. Kingdom plantae, cryptogams, talophyta, bryophyta, Pteridophyta, Phenerogams, Gymnosperms, Angiosperms, Dicotyledons, Monocotyledons. Using ICT 1. Sketch the diagrams of the plants mentioned in the lesson with the help of the drawing software in the computer. 2. Using those sketches Prepare a PowerPoint presentation about plant classification and present it in the class.